I love fasting. I love fasting how it makes me feel. I love what it's done for me on my weight loss journey. Without fasting, I would not have lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. Without fasting, I would not have reversed the many metabolic ailments that I dealt with from asthma to taking allergy pills every day to dealing with acid reflux daily. Fasting has done so much for me and I'm so grateful for it. In today's video, I want to talk about different fasting schedules for the 36 hour fast and how these different fasting schedules can help you maximize your weight loss results. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dila Joy. I made this transformation on my weight loss journey using a combination of one meal a day fasting, fasting for 20 hours a day or more, eating within a four hour eating window or less, compressing my calories within that eating window range. I've lost my weight doing the keto diet, eating it throughout the day. And when I do the keto diet, I stuff my face with vegetables. And there's a reason why the power of fiber and the gut microbiome helps to flatten that stomach. It helps to boost your immune system, gives you all the vitamins and minerals. So I'm a big believer in plants. I have done high protein diets and I've done diets where I've eaten nature's carbs. Right now I'm currently carb cycling and I'm throwing in quite a bit of 36 hour fasting. So if you want to learn about how to lose weight via fasting, how to manage fasting with exercise, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come join the fam. Today I want to go over four different fasting schedules for the 36 hour fast. I'm going to start from order of the most intense version of fasting to the least intense, but don't get it twisted. The least intense method of 36 hour fasting is going to give you the fasting benefits and it's going to give you the weight loss benefits that you need. Like all of these schedules are perfect. It's just a matter of finding one that works for you and works for you in terms of your exercise routine, works for you in terms of your work life balance or your life in general. So let's jump into the first intense fasting method for the 36 hour fast, and that is an alternate day fasting schedule. So what is alternate day fasting? It's also known as known as ADF. This is the most intense version of a 36 hour fast schedule. So you are fasting for 36 hours about two, three to four times a week. So you're fasting three to four times a week. There's three to four times a week where you're not having food. And I say three to four times a week because it depends how you start your fast. You may start the week off fasting or you may start up the week off feasting. So alternate day fasting is a fasting method where you basically fast for 36 hours and then you eat within a 12 hour eating window. And to probably do alternate day fasting, you usually eat at maintenance calories in the 12 hour eating window. There are two versions of alternate day fasting. There is modified ADF and then there's normal ADF. Modified ADF allows you to eat between 500 and 800 calories during the day that you are fasting. Using a modified ADF schedule can help you stick to the alternate day fasting schedule a little more stronger if you were struggling with not getting in enough fuel while doing this fasting method because ADF is tough. And if you like to work out, <laughs> it may not be the best fasting that schedule for you. And when I say like to work out, I mean intense working out. Most people do not work out to an intensity like, do I want to say I do? <laughs> I work out pretty intense. I love working out. So, but most people don't really push it that hard at the gym. You don't need to push it that hard at the gym. In fact, less is more when it comes to weight loss at the gym, but more on that later. So that is fasting schedule number one, alternate day fasting. Fasting schedule number two for the 36 hour fast is fasting for 36 hours twice a week. Now you can make the schedule work for you. You can do one 36 hour fast at the beginning of the week and then one 36 hour fast at the end of the week. For example, today's Sunday. I'm currently fasting. I'm having a 36 hour fast on Sunday and then I will have another 36 hour fast midweek, kind of just spacing it out. 
Fasting twice 36 hours for a week can help you on your weight loss journey, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose or especially if you are struggling with a lot of metabolic diseases, you're struggling with binge eating, it can help with that. But asterisks on the binge eating, with binge eating, you have to be in the right mindset when it comes to fasting because sometimes you can fast, get off the fast, and then you'll just eat like the whole house. You don't want to do that. You need to be in the right state of mind. I highly recommend those who are struggling with binge eating, if you tried to fast and then it didn't work, you need to focus on diet. You need to focus on basically finding a diet routine that works for you. And I'll give you something that will help most people just eat more vegetables, get used to eating more vegetables, get used to eating more fiber, get used to eating and feeding that gut microbiome eating. Yes, you can eat the gut microbiome. If you take probiotics, get used to eating in that method because that's going to help regulate your blood sugar levels. Binge eating can be a result of food addiction, which is a physiological thing, or it could be a result of mental health issues. If that's the case, then make sure you get help from a medical professional like I'm doing. I see a psychologist often. Um, there's that. <laughs> Next fasting schedule for the 36 hour fast is fasting once a week. So that is throwing in a 36 hour fast once per week. A good rule of thumb, I remember someone was doing this. They were fasting once a week on like Monday, maybe every Monday you do a 36 hour fast, or you can join me on my weekly 36 hour fast community challenge that I'm doing right now. I'm fasting every Wednesday, starting my fast Tuesday, ending it Thursday. You can do it that way. So fasting for 36 hours once a week, you can do that. Another method, I think this is going to be a bonus method because this is for women who are cycling, women who have their periods. Maybe doing a 36-hour fast once a week, three times out of the month. And why do I say three times? Because that week before your cycle, you don't want to be fasting. You need to support your hormones. You need to suppose, support progesterone, which requires you to have carbohydrates that are not refined. You want nature's carbs. So maybe fasting th three times a month for a week. And then that week before your period, do not fast. Just eat normally, maybe eat at maintenance, don't even diet hard because trust me, I've been through this roller coaster with that, going back and forth and back and forth and struggling because of my hormones. So there's that. So that was like a little bonus one. I just wanted to make sure it incorporated the importance of the female hormonal complexity that we are. And the final version of a 36 hour fasting schedule that you can do, but not least, is fasting for 36 hours once per month. This method is enough to help you boost your metabolism, to help you get to those stored deep sugars that we've stored for years after eating bad foods. And when I say bad foods, refined carbohydrates, th that 36 hour fast is just enough to boost you once a month to targeting some belly fat, to getting into a deep stage of autophagy and to a deep stage of mental clarity, producing GABA, producing serotonin and all of the good things. So anyway, I hope this video was useful for you. I just went over five 36 hour fasting schedules, if I'm getting this right. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of calendar emojis and I'm sending you mad love. Please hit the like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.